Hello everyone! My name is Ashley Rowland. I am a traveling caricature artist. This is what I travel in. This is pretty much what I live in. It is a utility trailer that I've done some customizing on. And welcome to my vlog. I know some of you are new to the channel because I just recently put up a really cool game huntings video from a local flea market and I got some new subscribers from that. So if you're new to the channel, thank you for subscribing and welcome aboard. Uh, for the guys, for you guys that have been here for a while, you'll know that I rarely ever show the inside of my camper because up until now, well, I'll, all I've had is a table and a cot and it, everything that I have is just kind of strewn out on the ground. It's kind of messy. But recently, I've had enough time to get in here and actually put in some shelves and do some work. So um, I would like to show you exactly what I've done. As far as the bed goes, the cot is pretty much gone, and I've put in this bed that is hinged to the wall. You can actually lift up. Well, Loki doesn't know what to think of that. But you can lift up, and if you adjust the, um, the mattress properly, you can get this thing to sit all the way against the wall. And so if I wanted to open up more space on the floor to set out some chairs and do that kind of thing, I can do that now. And now that the bed is so much higher off the ground, it's given me a lot more room to uh, be able to store bins and tubs underneath. And now that it's hinged, I can get to them very easily. So that's nice. Now as far as the front of the camper, some of you will probably remember this um, portable air conditioner I got from a pawn shop for like half the price, 10,000 BTU. Um, now that the bed is up higher, I can do this, where I can put my pillow on this side of the bed, and the air conditioner will be blowing pretty much right directly on my head, and, and that'll be really nice for those hot nights. Now, I put in two shelves, and just looking at them, you're probably thinking, well, as soon as you got to move, everything's going to slide right off. You don't have them in bins, or there's no lip on them or anything. And you're right, uh, so this is what I'm planning on doing. First off, some of this stuff is going to be put in clear plastic bins, and I'm going to do one of two things. I'm going to either take the bin and put a wood screw through it and fasten it directly to the, cab uh, to the uh, shelf, or I'm going to take a bunch of these, these loops, and I'm going to make a row of them across the front and across the back. So um, whenever I go to drive, I can just take bungees and hook them on the front and loop them over whatever I want to secure and hook them to the back. So that way, whenever I get to where I'm going, I can just come by, unhook these, these um, bungees from the front and let them dangle on the back and I'll be ready to go. And uh, when I need to travel, just reach back there, pull them back over, and I'm ready to go. The media table is still pretty much a mess. You can see all the tools I've been working with down here. But uh, I've got a plan for this, too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a shelf up high, up around here. Uh, here's the brackets for them. You can see how far out that goes. So once I've got that in place, I'll be able to get my consoles up off the table all the way up here. And, um, and then all the power cords and everything will come from the back of that little shelf and have this little short distance and plug directly in here. So there won't be all these dangling cords. I'll be able to like put zip ties or twist ties on them and just, you know, have that little short distance there for, for each one of them. Now, as you can see, I've got, um, a PlayStation 3, a Retron 3, and an Xbox 360. Uh, oh, uh, as far as why do I have two of them when space is so limited, uh, I found the second one for $25 at a pawn shop down in Atlanta. And if you know 360s, it always, it's always good to have a backup. But I think I will take this one out and put it in storage. Um, but what I'm going to do, if possible, I would also like to put in a, uh, a PlayStation 2, an original Xbox, a Nintendo Wii, and... Of course, an N64. Uh, I'm debating on whether or not to put a GameCube in here, because if I've got a Wii, why, why have the GameCube, right? But um, I do have the Game Boy Player on it, which would allow me to play uh, Game Boy Color games. Uh, now, I do have this re-res adapter that lets me play GBA games on the big screen, and this works pretty good. And, uh, of course, I have the Super Game Boy. So I can play those two things on the Retron 3, but it still excludes Game Boy Color. So 
is it worth it? I don't know. Uh, at any rate, I'm going to, at the on the front of the shelf, I'm going to hang all of the different uh, console controllers right there, and I'm going to have a switcher mounted to the wall so that I can switch the, H, uh, the HDMI channels or the, uh, the component channels through these different boxes. And um, I'm thinking I'll probably put a CRT TV in here too, just for the um, the old games, like the Retron 3. Um, but at any rate, uh, it's going to be a rolling man cave when I'm done with it. I might seem a little excessive to you guys, but hey, if you see my channel, you know just how much I love video games. And even though space is limited, I would like to have a nice slice of the man cave that I used to have at home on the road with me so I can enjoy it here too. All right, Loki, it's time for me to go. I'm going to go meet up with mom and dad and um, enjoy some nice Thanksgiving dinner. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am filming this on Thanksgiving Day. And as we speak, I am heading off to go meet up with uh, mom and dad. Mom works at a children's home and could not. Well, the kids have to eat Thanksgiving dinner. So she couldn't get off for today. Well, here we are. Let's go get some turkey. Well, hello there. Hey, Ashley. Hey. Oh, you guys already started eating? No, we just got plates up. Oh, you just, just got the plates? Oh, you got me one. You got me one ready. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. It doesn't have the crunch on it yet, though. Oh my goodness, look at this. So for the crunch, you're talking about the sweet potato crunch? Yes. Oh, that hasn't come out of the oven yet? Oh, it's ready. It's just no room, on the plate. no room on the plate. Awesome. Look, I found Nemo. <laughs> there he is. See, I found him. Oh, uh, really? The, this is really neat that this this is a saltwater tank, did you yes, say? it is a saltwater tank. Okay. Hey, guys, one thing, one thing you're thankful for. My church and the friends that I have. Family. All right. Yeah. That I finally know what I wanted to be when I grow up. And that would be? A Colston's Homes Cook for the Boys. Okay. And I am thankful for you guys, for one thing. I really appreciate anybody that subscribes and actually watches these videos. But I am also thankful for my church, for my family, and... For all the family members out there, you guys are probably watching that put up with me docking outside your house. There's some in Tennessee that I do it at, and some in, in um, Florida and in Georgia where I dock up in your backyard. And I'm thankful for um, a job that actually makes me happy and doesn't stress me out. And I'm thankful that I'm actually able to be my own boss. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn this camera off now and enjoy the rest of this Thanksgiving meal. Uh, Turn it back on when I get to the track. Stay tuned for that. All right, back at the track now. Ready to go on into work. See what kind of surprises are in store today. Well, looks like nobody disturbed my booth. That's good. We got a dog wearing a coat out here today. So what is your YouTube channel? Um, I'm Blind Smoker Games with 9 subs. It's capital B-L-I-N-D-S-M-O-K. No, yeah. S-M-O-K-E-R space capital G-A-M-E-S. Okay. Here's your picture. And there you go. <laughs> That's funny, eh? Well, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button, uh, share the video, subscribe, leave comments, leave questions, leave suggestions. I'll take all the support I can get. Uh, I've got a few more minutes here of uh, footage of the first day I worked out here and I walked around and met and talked to some of the new vendors. It wasn't really enough to make an entire vlog on, so I thought I would just go ahead and include it here as a way to close out this video. So, thank you guys again, and I will see you again on the next video. Where are you guys from? We're from Kingsport. Kingsport. 
Oh, man, y'all are right around the corner. How long have y'all been doing the uh, popcorn? The kettle five corn? Years. Five years, and you're just now doing the Speedway and Lights. Yeah, we've been trying. Where? We're those five to get in here. Really? So what happened that made it where you could finally get in? I don't know. Right at done with the setup? Yeah. Oh, you got one of those I, I, I see on TV shirt folder I, things. Uh, I just got educated in this thing. It doesn't seem like it's that hard to do. Yeah. So, it, or does it work like like advertised? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. I didn't even know they used to. I didn't do stuff like this. Save me tons of time. No kidding. <laughs> nice. So, well, do y'all do your own screen printing? Yep. Everything. Y'all have a company out. Is it in Rogersville? I thought. No, I... no, it's in it's in Gray. We in Gray. Yeah, we base everything out of. Uh, right now, out of his garage, right now. So we're actually fixing to have a store over up in Kingsport. Okay. And what's the name of the company? My Blue Noodle. My Blue Noodle. Yes, sir. These guys may be new to the track, but this booth looks really uh, professional. So take a look at their website when you guys get a chance. MyBlueNoodle.com for their silk screening. And right now, 50% of everything they make out here goes to the Speedway Children's Charities which is a, a really good charity, and it's very selfless of them to, to do something like that.